betrayed, that the Lord Jesus on the same night that he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, take eat, this is my body which is broken for you, do this in remembrance of me, take eat, this is my body which is broken for you, do this in remembrance of me, in the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, this do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me, for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes, let me say this real slow, for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup. You proclaim the Lord's death until he comes, according to 1 Corinthians 11, 23 to 26. And this is what it means. Now, I agree with the spirit of the Lord's Supper as Peter had received it. And I received the Lord's words of the institution of the Supper and is celebrated by me in connection with the Passover. The breaking of the unleavened bread was symbolic of Yeshua's bruised body given for me. And the bread represents Yeshua's body and the covenant in Yeshua's blood was Yahweh sealing his agreement of salvation with his people through Yeshua's blood. I received the healing power. Somebody needs to declare this. Open up your mouth and make a confession right now. Open up your mouth and make a prophetic declaration. Make an announcement. Make a decree. Open up your mouth and say this right now after me under the sound of my voice. I receive the healing power. I receive the healing power. I receive the healing power and the delivering power. I receive the delivering power. I receive the delivering power. I receive the healing power and I receive the delivering power of Yeshua's body in the bread. Now I proclaim prophetic declaration in my own personal application of the meaning of Yeshua's death in my own personal testimony as a true believer. I'm in agreement with it. I believe it. I receive it. I have it as I pray. And I thank you for my identification with Yeshua Hamasiach. Let it be unto me and let it be unto everyone listening under the sound of my voice. You see, when drinking out of the cup and pleading the authority and pleading the power that is in the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach and when receiving the delivering power that is in the communion it is then now that Satan's forces are broken down and humbled before Yeshua HaMashiach isn't that something? Now we're going to move into receive now the power of the blood prayer receive now the power of the blood prayer Elohim Abba Yahweh in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach I welcome the Holy Spirit and the person of the Holy Spirit to witness our agreement and oneness in this fellowship and communion by faith with belief in the name of Yeshua and through the blood of the Lamb. I decree the mind of Yeshua HaMashiach is upon my mind and the mind of the Holy Spirit has come to take charge and minister divine instructions upon our heart and upon our mind in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Abba, I decree that my decision now is let the sprinkling of the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach be upon my heart by my faith and my belief. And now I have applied Yeshua's blood to my heart and I have applied Yeshua's blood to my life and I have applied Yeshua's blood to my conscience and Yeshua's applied blood has brought forth forgiveness, peace and deliverance into my life now. I decree the effectiveness of Yeshua's blood has brought the power of the blood into and over my life now. I decree the blood of Yeshua speaks for me behind the veil where Yeshua's blood has been placed on the heavenly mercy seat for me. I decree the voice of Yeshua's blood of mercy is heard in glory more sweetly and more loudly than the voices of all the angels around the throne of Yahweh. I decree Yeshua's blood please louder for Kenneth Jerome Williams. You have to put your own name in this. I decree Yeshua's blood please louder for Kenneth Jerome Williams. You have to say your own name in this, listeners. I decree Yeshua's blood please louder for me and for you than all of our sins can plead against us on this earth in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. I decree Yeshua's blood has been delivered before the presence of our Heavenly Father and Yeshua himself is our advocate in Yahweh's presence now. I decree the protective covering of the power of the bloodline of Yeshua HaMashiach is upon me and in my life daily, known, evening, and nightly from sun up to sun down. Let me say this real slow. I decree the protective covering of the power of the bloodline of Yeshua HaMashiach is upon me and in my life daily, noon, evening, and nightly. I decree the protective covering of the bloodline of Yeshua unites people to me in human relationships. And I decree now the protective covering of the bloodline of Yeshua divides me from people who are not under the protective covering because the bloodline of Yeshua HaMashiach is my protection 
which separates God's people from the disobedient people in the sight of Yahweh in the name of Yeshua, Hamasiach. I decree the destroying angel does not cross the bloodline of Yeshua, Hamasiach. Let me say that real slow. I decree the destroying angel does not cross the bloodline of Yeshua, Hamasiach. Let me say that real slow. I decree the destroying angel does not cross the bloodline of Yeshua, Hamasiach. And I dedicate everything around me in prayer to Abba Yahweh, Yeshua, his son, and the Holy Spirit through the blood of the Lamb. I decree Yahweh defends me. Let me say this real slow. Somebody got to get the revelatory. Somebody got to tap into me with the spirit. And somebody got to get this and find out where I'm at, what dimension I'm operating in, what realm I'm in right now. Somebody got to get this. Check this out. I decree Yahweh defends me and Yahweh protects me when Yahweh sees the blood applied to my life. Let me see that real slow. I decree Yahweh defends me and Yahweh protects me when Yahweh sees the blood applied to my life in the name of Yeshua. And I have a sense of peace, sense of protection, and I have a sense of satisfaction in the divinely protected place of deliverance and peace. Let me say that real slow. I have a sense of peace. I have a sense of protection. And I have a sense of satisfaction in the divinely protected place of deliverance and peace. I plead the blood of Yeshua to invoke. I plead the blood of Yeshua to invoke. I plead the blood of Yeshua to invoke what Yeshua has done on the cross over all and over every particular situation and particular person in my life. I decree the blood covering is provided to Kenneth Jerome Williams. You have to put your own name in that. If you're a believer, you've got to put your own name in that prayer. I decree the blood covering. Oh, come on, somebody. I decree the blood covering is provided to Kenneth Jerome Williams through faith in Yahweh, prayer to Abba Yahweh, and my belief in the covenant of Yahweh. I decree now I cover Kenneth Jerome Williams with the blood of Yeshua, the covenant of Yahweh. Now, this is how you close this thing out. Now, I'm calling on the power. Come on, somebody. I said, now, I'm calling on the power. God said, when you pray, pray with understanding. And to you worship leaders and you praise people out there, God said, when you sing, sing with understanding. God said, when you pray, pray with understanding. This here is the understanding. Now, I'm calling on the power. And I'm calling on the authority of Yeshua's blood in all and in every circumstance stance that matters and which pertains to the life and the doings of Kenneth Jerome Williams. In the name of Yeshua Hamasiak, by my faith and belief, I'm in agreement with this prayer decree. I believe this prayer decree. I receive this prayer decree. I have this prayer decree answered by Yahweh as I pray now. And I thank you for everything in this prayer. That it all has come to pass as prayed in the name of Yeshua Hamasiak. So let it be unto me as you have said, my Lord. Let it be unto those listening under the sound of my voice as you have said my lord let it be unto us you see when drinking out of the cup and pleading the authority and pleading the power that is in the blood of yeshua hamasiach and when receiving the delivering power that is in the communion it is then now that satan's forces are broken down and humbled before yeshua hamasiach shalom amen amen as you see, we've gone through a, a, a very powerful teaching talking about the blood um, and so forth. So I want to start with the beginning of Exodus chapter 12 and read that for you this morning. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, In the month shall be unto you the beginning of the months. It shall be uh, the first month of the year to you. Like this is January to us. Amen. Uh, 2017, right? Say, speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying in the tenth month of this month, they shall take to them every man a lamb according to the house of their fathers. Amen. Okay. Excuse me. All right. Um, now, verse four says, um, "Okay, so uh, verse three. Let me read. Speak unto all the, the congregation of Israel, 
saying in the 10th day of this month, uh, they shall take to them every man a lamb according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for a house. And in if the household be too little for a lamb, let him and his neighbor next unto his house take it according to the number of souls. Every man according to his eating shall make your count for the lamb. Your lamb shall be without blemish. Jesus Christ was without blemish. A male of the first year, he shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats, and ye shall keep it up until the fourteenth day of the same month, and the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening, and they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper door posts of the house wherein they shall eat it. And they shall eat the flesh in that night, roast with fire and unleavened bread, and with bitter herbs they shall eat it. Verse 9 says, Eat not of it raw nor sodden at all with water, but roast it with fire, he his head with his leg and with the per pertinence thereof, and ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning, and that which remain of it until the morning shall burn with fire, and thus shall ye eat it with your loins girded, and your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand. And it shall eat uh, it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. It, if, verse 12 says, For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night, and I will smite all the firstborn of the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the house where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. There's a song that says, When I see the blood, when I see the blood, when I see the blood, I will pass, I will pass over you. It is back then as it is today. When the Lord Jesus Christ sees the blood, he will pass over you. When the angels of God, the destroying angel that has come upon this time and this dispensation of time, when he sees the blood, he will pass over you. Put the blood over your house today. All right? The Lord has instructed me to speak to the children of God around the world. Put the blood over your house. All right? over your lintel, over your doorposts, over your gates, over everything, over your children. Put the blood over them now. So he says, And when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. And this day shall be upon you for a memorial, and you shall keep it as a feast to the Lord throughout your generation. You shall keep it as a feast by its ordinance forever. Seven days shall you eat unleavened bread. Even the first day you shall put away leaven out of your house. For whosoever eateth leavened bread from the first day unto the seventh day, that soul shall be cut off from Israel. And in the first day they shall be a holy covenant. And in the seventh day there shall be a holy convocation to you. No matter of works shall be done in it, 
uh, shall save that which every man must eat, that only may be done to of you. For ye shall observe the feast of unleavened bread, for in the self same day have I brought your enemies, your armies, out of the uh, land of Egypt. Therefore shall ye observe this day in your generations by an ordinance forever. In the first month of the fourteenth day of the month and at eve ye shall eat unleavened bread until the one of the twenty twenty first of the month at eve. Seven days shall there be at no leaven found in your house, for whosoever eat that which is leaven eats that soul shall be cut off from the congregation of Israel, where he be a stranger or born in the land. Ye shall eat nothing leaven in all your habitation shall ye eat unleavened bread. Then Moses said for all the elders of Israel, and he said unto them, Draw out uh, and take you a lamb according to the families and kill uh, in the Passover. Um, and ye shall take a branch of hyssop and dip it in the blood that it is in the uh, basin and strike the lintels and the two side posts with the blood that is in the basin. And none of you shall go out of the door of this house, of his house, until morning. For the Lord will pass through to smite the Egyptians. And when he sees the blood upon the linton and on the two side posts, the Lord will pass over the door and will not suffer the destroyer to come in unto the house to smite you. And ye shall observe this for an ordinance to thee and to thy sons forever. And it shall come to pass when ye come to the land which the Lord will give you according as he has promised, that ye shall keep this service. And it shall come to pass when your children shall say unto you, What means ye by this service? That ye shall say, It is in the sacrifice of the Lord's Passover, who passed over the house of the children of Egypt when he smote the Egyptians and delivered our houses, and the people bowed the head, and they worshipped God. And the children of Israel went away and did as the Lord had commanded Moses and Aaron, so did they. And it came to pass that at midnight the Lord smote all the firstborn in the land of Egypt from the firstborn of Pharaoh that sat on his throne unto the firstborn of the captive that was in the dungeon and all the firstborn of the cattle and pharaoh rose up in the night he and all his servants and all the egyptians and there was a great cry in egypt for there was not a house where there was not one dead and he called for moses and aaron by night and said rise up and get ye forth from the among the, my people both ye and the children of israel and go serve the lord as ye have said, and take your flocks and your herds, and ye has said, and be gone, and bless be also. And the Egyptians were urgent upon the people that they might send them out of the land in haste, for they said, We be all dead men and the people took their dung their doughs before it uh, with leaven and their kneading throth being uh, brought up in their clothes upon their shoulders and the children of Israel did according to the word of Moses and they borrowed of the Egyptian jewels and silver and jewels of gold and raiments and the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians so that they lent unto them such things as they required and they spoiled the Egyptians and the children of Israel journeyed from uh, Ramses to success about 600,000 on foot and were men before the children and a mixed multitude went up also with them and the flocks of herds, even the very cattle. And they bake unleavened cake and dough, which they brought forth out of Egypt, for it was not leavened, but because they had thrust out of Egypt and caused not could not tarry, neither they prepared for themselves any victuals or vitals or things to eat. Now this they sojourned the sojourning of the children of Israel went uh, who dwelt in Egypt for 
430 years these people were enslaved. Uh huh. And it came to pass not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit of God. Amen. Verse 41. God will do a new thing, y'all. Okay. Verse 41 says, And it came to pass at the end of the 430 years, even the self same day, it came to pass that all the hosts of the Lord went out from the land of Egypt. In it is in the night to be much observed unto the Lord from bringing them out from the land of Egypt. This is the night of the Lord to be observed of all the children of Israel in their generations. And the Lord said unto Moses and Aaron, This is the ordinance of the Passover. There shall no strangers eat thereof, but every man's servant to that is brought for by money, when thou hast circumcised him, then shall he eat thereof. The circumcision is done by all of our children on the eighth day after the birth of a baby. It is done even till today. That is the circumcision of the male's foreskin. Um, and the flesh is taken out by the eighth day a male child of ours is born. Amen. Verse 45 says, For foreigners and uh, a hired servant shall not eat thereof. In one house shall it be eaten, and shall not carry forth out of the flesh abroad out of the house, neither shall he break a bone thereof. And the congregation of Israel shall keep it. And when a stranger shall sojourn with thee, and will keep the Passover of the Lord, to all his male be circumcised. Again, all males must be circumcised, even till today, all right? It's a healthy thing also. If you get rid of that foreskin, it's easier to take care of the male's private parts. And then let him come near and keep it, and he shall be as one that is born in the land, for no uncircumcised person shall eat thereof. One law shall be to him uh, for it, that is the home born, and unto the strangers that sojourn among you. Thus did all the children of Israel, as the Lord commanded Moses and Aaron, so did they. And it came to pass that self same day that the Lord did bring the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt and their armies. God bless the reading of God's holy word. I want to give God a, a blessing upon your life. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face and his countenance be upon you. May the Lord be gracious upon you and unto you, unto your children's children, unto your household, both now and forever. May the Lord be with you all. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. God bless you. Thank you for listening to the sound of my voice. This is the Archbishop Dr. Marcia Karen Abrams, and I thank you for tuning in to today's broadcast. And I hope you learned a lot. Uh, we went over many things, how to set up uh, your radio system, your mixers, and we talked about a little bit about our television systems. We talk about being at home, doing a home-based um, business, whatever it may be, you can do it, ladies and gentlemen, without road rage and save a lot of money on gas. Amen. Save a lot of money all year long and do different things with your money and your increase. Amen. Please write to me if you're interested in working for me. I am running for the Office of President of the United States of America in 2020. Um, my email address is dr-abrams at dr-abrams at um, for president.com. So it's Dr. Abrams for president.com. Amen. Please consider uh, voting for me uh, in 2020 in that election. I'm also running for uh, the, the Office of Senate uh, for the state of North Carolina as well as the Office of uh, the Congresswoman. And if it be God's perfect will, I will sit in one of those seats. Amen. Anyway, our website is wwwdr hyphen Abrams, A B R A M S, hyphens four, hyphen, and four is F O R, hyphen president, P R E S I D E N T dot com. So it's Dr. Abrams for president dot com. My email address is um, Dr. Abrams at Dr. Abrams for president dot com. Put a hyphen between each one of those words. A hyphen is that dash. Okay, so it's Dr. Dr. Hyphen the dash. Abrams, A-B-R-A-M-S 
the at symbol Dr. Dr. Hyphen Abrams A B R A M S Hyphen Four F O R Hyphen President P R E S I D E N T dot com, or you can just call me at nine one zero three six six seven four four six. We have a fax uh, at eight six six four five four nine three two five. You can send in fax. Our uh, voice system. If you want to work, I do pay. It's ten fifty an hour plus one percent. Of all that you do, your effort, twenty six fifty an hour, plus one percent, thirty five dollars an hour, uh, plus one percent, and um, fifty dollars an hour for my independent contractors. That's thirty five to fifty dollars an hour. We love you. Uh, for those who run around and help me to get signatures, I need help. We need about a million signatures. Every state <laughs> we need a million signatures uh, for me to be president of the United States. That's 51 million signatures. I believe we can do it. I believe that God is a, a on-time God, a possibility God, and He loves us. And um, thank you again for tuning in to today's broadcast. Don't forget to hit me up. You know, send a, a, a Facebook. You know, you can go to my Facebook. Um, website also I'm um, putting an endorsement a comment ask your question all I want to know is what would you want uh, from your president should I be elected president of the United States in 2020 what would you want from me please write those uh, uh, petition in one per person there's over three million three hundred twenty one million plus people in America I believe God can answer every issue that mankind has everything God can answer he can take care of all of our needs all our, our circumstances everything there's no issue known to man that God cannot take care of so please stay encouraged be strong to be bold in the name of the Lord we love you I bless you our great is our God hallelujah praise God
raise your hands as high as you can in this place. Everybody, just give your voice some time. Okay. Yeah.